Hey guys, first off I want to apologize for how I look. Um, I'm wearing absolutely no makeup and my hair looks like a mess, but you guys are more important and it doesn't matter what I look like because I just wanted to get some information out there for you. So in my November favorites I talked about this Sigma brush roll that I got and I've only ever had um, drugstore brushes and I mean they work okay and all but um, I wanted to invest in some more high quality brushes because I believe that good brushes can enhance the way your makeup look um, you know it's it's way better than using your finger I think it saves a lot of product so this set has 12 brushes in it and it came with one little free um, like travel one so I'm just gonna talk about each brush a little bit um, this set retails for $99 on the Sigma website and I will put a link to that in the down bar so first off these are all kind of um, stained a little bit I need to wash some of them because I've been playing around with them and using them a lot so this free travel one. It's just um, an E25 blending brush and it's got eyeshadow all over it. It's normally white so yeah so I just this is perfect just put in your travel bag and use that. The small angled brush um, this is an E65 and this is good for just like um, smudging out your eyeliner and using a gel liner and stuff like that so that's a good one um, I would recommend that one like on your lower lash line just to use for it this one's got a stupid thing on it um, this is just an eyeliner brush it's an E05 and this is good for just if you use pencil eyeliner and then you want to smudge it out or make it thicker or use a gel liner or a cream eyeliner um, that's a good one for that I've only used that one once so far just because, you know, basketball and all. I haven't been able to wear a lot of eyeliner lately. And this one, it's dirty because I used it. This is just a little concealer brush. Um, it's an F70. Yeah, so um, this one I use for under eye concealers and stuff like that and like in the crevices of my nose because um, I have a Murad concealer that's in like a twistable stick and I use that one for blemishes and then I'll just use this one for all the other stuff I need to um, conceal and this is an E40 tapered blending brush I have a Sonia Keshek blending brush and um, it's not as big as this one I feel like I have kind of small eyes and this one's a little bit too big for me I think so I don't use this one very much but it's still high quality brush and it, it works amazingly this is a medium angled shading it's an E70 and I use this one for my crease um, it works great I love this one This is an E30 pencil, and I use this one just for like, um, like putting eye, a little bit of eyeshadow underneath my lash lines, on my top lash line, um, in my crease, just stuff like that. It's a really small brush. And also in this um, medium angled shading brush, the one I just talked about, it's not supposed to be meant for the crease. The blending brush is supposed to be mostly for the crease. Um, this one's supposed to be for like underneath your eyebrows and stuff just to add like a highlight color but mostly I just use it for here because I like smaller brushes and then this one is the eye shading E55 brush this one is the one that I use for um, just patting on color on my lid and just everything like that and this one is the F60 foundation brush and this one is great for applying um, like liquid foundation and just stuff like that. I guess you could use this if you wanted to 
um, like use it to put your moisturizer on it and then like spread it around like if you didn't want to use your fingers I guess you could do that too and you can also use this to conceal like big areas like if you if you need a lot of coverage with concealer then just put it on this yeah and this is um, an E60 large shader and this is just for eyeshadow so um, the two eyeshadow brushes that like the main ones are the E55 and the E60 this the E55 is an eye shading brush and that one's used for like um, loose eyeshadows or pigments and stuff like that and then this one the large shader um, it's ideal for cream eyeshadows and if you want to use it to apply your eyelid primer that's really good for that too and there's not like a precise blush brush that comes in this kit but the one that they recommend for it is the F40 large angled contouring brush and it's got some blush on it so I need to clean that but like this is you can use it for like highlighters and shimmer bricks and stuff like that so it's really good for that one of my favorites is the the F50 duo fiber stippling brush um, I haven't been really into liquid foundation lately but if when I do use it when I need like that extra coverage sometimes um, I just put some liquid foundation on my hand and then I just pat it on there and then I just stipple it on my face so that's how I do that my favorite brush that probably comes in the set would have to be my F30 large powder brush I use this with my MAC Mineralize Skin Finish and it just gives like a an airbrushed look. I, I just think it looks amazing. Um, this is probably my favorite brush ever. I'm not really sure how it compares to the MAC powder brush. Um, you guys should let me know. So overall this kit has 12 brushes and it's $99. And I think it's so cute because it has like pink all on it. Um, they did have a black one too, but I wanted the pink one just because I thought it was cuter. So, what do you guys think about brushes? Do you use drugstore ones or do you use MAC ones or Sigma ones? Those are like the basic ones that people use. So, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about these brushes and what I use them for and how amazing I think they are. So, please don't comment on how I look. I know I look like a mess right now. Yeah. So comment with tutorials or something. Um, um, so some of you guys have been asking why some of my videos are higher quality than these ones. Um, for like tutorials and things that I think they need to be used, I use my video camera for things that I think need higher quality. But just for like hauls and explaining videos, I used um, just the webcam on my MacBook just because it's quicker and doesn't take as long to process. When I use my video camera, it takes hours. So I'm a little lazy, but um, when I feel like it needs to be used, I use my video camera. Just, I didn't feel like it needed that right now. But when I start doing some tutorials over the holiday break, um, I'm going to be using my video camera. So yeah, I got um, the Sigma little mirror too with it, just because I thought it was cute. So with that, it's like $130 or something, but just the brush roll, $99, perfect Christmas gift. Um, if you think somebody needs new brushes, it's amazing. I really recommend it. Comment below what you think. Give me some new ideas for videos. Um, keep following me. Check out my Lux. I've been in love with that website. Yeah, so I guess I'll talk to you guys later. Bye!